All right, guys, this is Richard at Mission Auto Channel and Reese.com, and we're covering the show floor of Reefapalooza, New York. And I'm here with my friend, uh, Eric, from Blue Life Aquatics. Blue Life Aquatics? Blue Life USA. I'm so sorry. No. It's okay, it's hard. You were going to say sea dwelling creatures, weren't you? <laughs> of course you were. I still say it sometimes too. You know, because it's because <laughs> I saw you from the first from the the TV show Tanked. Of course. And then I was like, that, that was just like ingrained in my head. I'm like, oh. Hey, 23 years of a sea dwelling creature. You never leave yeah. that name, right? For sure. Today, Eric Eric wants to show us a new product that he's bringing into the market today, and this is a uh, Flux RX. Eric. Flux RX is our one of our new RX products. Uh, this is actually 100% fluconazole. Okay. So it's in a powder form instead of the little capsule that you've been seeing. Right. So there's two measuring sticks and there's spoons inside. One measuring cup uh, is for 25 gallon dose. The other measuring cup is smaller for five gallon measuring stuff. Okay. So this is great for the this is great for the treatment of bryopsis control okay. or green hair algae. Gotcha. I've heard that it'll treat, we've been reading all these uh, new uh, findings that it'll treat baloney algae as well at higher dosages. Right. So fluconazole, which has been around as a, a maybe a freshwater fungus control right, right. product, we've been finding that it's very, uh, very good and accurate and safe to use in marine aquariums for controlling certain types of algaes that we've never been able to treat before. After you dose it, are you supposed to do any kind of water changes afterwards, or what are the directions? Is, is there any harmful effect, side effect, or no? no? But it is a little slow effect like it takes um, in reading a lot of the forum groups and what people have found it takes about 10 to 12 days to see the, the complete results okay so leave it in your aquarium for 10 to 14 days then you can do your water changes and um, move on with it with, hopefully you'll never need to use that again all so right what's really exciting other than that new product are these regenerable lines these regenerable products that right. I'm really trying to get the yeah. US or American hobbyists yeah. know, to back behind we've had great success mm -hmm. in Australia and the UK and yeah. the hobbyists are really uh, embracing this yeah. regeneration so what regeneration means we can basically rinse them mm -hmm. and reuse them over and over again right so um, there's a uh, three foundation products of resins. There's the phosphate resin, okay. a nitrate resin, mm -hmm. and an organic scavenger resin. Okay. Um, two of those components I've been using for six years in the ClearFX Pro product, mm -hmm. which is that all-in-one Right. ClearFX Pro, which is right here. Yeah. I'm sure you recognize that. This has been around for a long time. Not regenerable because it has the carbon mixed into it. Right. So if we separate those products carbon. out, that take is. the carbon out, and the same phosphate product resin that's in the ClearFX Pro, mm -hmm. and the organic scavenger resin, which is, I have one here. So the or, these are the two resins that are in the ClearFX Pro. Okay. So by you can run them together. You could do a mixed bed. They're each individually packaged in a filter sock mm -hmm. or a media bag. So you can run them in the media bag or you can take them out of the media bag and run them in a media reactor and fluidize them, tumble them if you want. Gotcha. And, and how, do you, how do you regenerate them? Regenerating them is really a simple process by using a brine solution, which is like a heavy salt water, soft water brine solution. Okay. You can slowly pass that brine solution water to rinse them and then uh, after 20 to 30 minutes at a very heavy brine solution a salinity that's much higher than our fish tanks, mm -hmm. um, it will release everything they've attached to them and then they become brand new and you can reuse them over and over again. Nice. I like this idea because you know it's, it makes it very cost effective and very in the long run. Yes. You know, and how does this the nitrate one work? I'm, you know, the phosphate one, I get it. You know, but yeah. like, nitrate one, I, I'm, I'm personally curious about. That. How does that work? Nitrate, it's nitrate. It, well, the resin itself mm -hmm. of the nitrate is designed to remove nitrates. Mm -hmm. It'll actually attract the nitrates um, in the water, mm -hmm. and it'll just uh, attach them to the resin bead. Okay. So the engineering of the media mm -hmm. is such that it'll also remove some silicates in there as well. Okay. So it has some attractions to other right. 
yeah, additional nice. benefits. <laughs> Mutual benefits, exactly. Right. And this is, um, it's not an inexpensive product because the technology is very advanced. Of course. But um, I've seen results where on like a single pass, uh, aquariums that had uh, tested one water where it was 50 ppm of nitrate um, going into the reactor and 25 ppm of nitrate leaving the reactor on the upland. So wow. on a slow pass, it can yeah. really react very quickly to the nitrates and suck it up. Now, one thing that um, that on the resins like you know that that had me a little bit concerned before was that they were clump up. You know, like how GFO would sometimes clump up right. if not enough uh, flow was going in. Now, considering because I do have a little bit of nitrate, and if I wanted to put that in my reactor do I what's the flow rate that I have to put inside like do, will it ever clump up I don't think it's ever gonna clump up because these are really like a gel type of bead okay so they're not gonna dry out and kind of stick together they don't stick together okay so they kind of are just gonna constantly just be flowing very smoothly in your reactor and then do you have to tumble them or, um, or like, would it be just to. okay just water flowing through them well not you want to have either pressure going through them yeah so either in a canister filter yeah but I think best used to have them in a tumbling reactor. Tumbling reactor, gotcha. Okay. And then rinsing them as well. And it's interesting too, like we did make it very simple to regenerate them mm -hmm. by coming up with a regeneration kit. Mm -hmm. So this is for mixing a half a gallon water solution mm -hmm. that you will use to rinse or regenerate the resins. Mm -hmm. So over 20 to 30 minutes at a very fast drip pace. Mm -hmm. So a flow rate of about is about as fast of a drip as you can get before it becomes a steady stream of water. Nice. And that will take a half a gallon of water, 20 to 30 minutes to rinse through them in a single pass. Nice. And then you rinse it with some clean RO water, right. and then right back into your aquarium, ready to reuse again. Be sure to check these products out, and I'd like to thank Robert from Marine Depot for uh, letting me know of this product. And I was able to see this from his blog. I'll link the blog here for you to see, and be sure to check them out. All right, guys, have a great day. Thanks again, Richard. No, not Great at all. seeing you, man. Likewise. Likewise.